Good evening from the opening night of Hyde Park Winter Wonderland 2021. Charlotte's back! Oh and I'm here in London, honestly. Literally stepped straight off the flight this morning and come here to Winter Wonderland for the opening night of the event. I am so excited to have this back after two years, Charlotte. I'm really looking forward to being back. Oh, it's different this year, though. You actually need to pre-book to come into the event, don't you, Charlotte? So it ranges from Yeah, definitely. Like, you can turn up and still pay for them when you're walking down here at the entrances. Oh, look at it go in the background. Beauty looping, amazing. Like if you are scammers on board, you can scan. Yeah, but uh, I'd recommend booking online because if it does sell out like certain days already have done, you've already got your ticket locked in. But yes, welcome to the vlog. Beat, what way to beat the jet lag? Like, like, straight off the plane to get on some rides. And we're going to start off with a ride on Olympia Looping just here. Come and join us. It's the first night of High Park Winter Wonderland. It's back after two years. Well, you saw her in the background there of the opening. Back for this year's event, Olympia Looping, the world's largest transportable roller coaster, featuring the iconic Olympic rings there, five loops. Along with that, we've got some brand new rides for this year, including Airborne that we can see over there. That is one of the biggest traveling rides I have ever seen. It's huge. Along with that, there's some other new rides to check out, and we'll be doing them all in this vlog. You've also got returning classics as well, lots of different coasters, other great rides such as XXL over here, another one of my favourites. But I'll tell you what, there was other Christmas events that ran in the UK last year, but nothing on the scale of Winter Wonderland. And to be back here with Charlotte, some Christmas fun is awesome. Excited. Should we start off with a ride on Olympia? Yeah, let's, do it. let's go for it. So I thought they might have put the price up for this year. It's still nine tokens to pound a token. Uh, so yeah, it's nine pounds to ride. With this one, it's one of them where you can actually just tap at the ride entrance. Some of the bigger rides, you can just tap your card here. However, some rides, you do need to go to a token booth sure. like that. I'm not too sure on the price, because the thing says 10 pounds, but then it says nine tokens. Oh, oh there we so go. I'm not sure. Well, we're going to find out. Oh, I think that's 10 euros. Is it? I don't know. We'll, we'll go find out. It says nine up there. <laughs> Woo! Here we go. Honk that horn. It's nice to hear that again after a couple of years. I tell you what, though, Airborne's going to be popular this year. It looks amazing. We'll get on that next, I think. Brilliant. But yeah, nine pounds a ride, nine tokens. Look at the view. <laughs> You've got the City Star Ferris wheel there as well. Huge, that is. Star Flyers back. And amazing views across the event. Oh, Charlotte's like, where's the donuts? I want donuts. Are you ready, Charlotte? Yeah. Woo! Freshly painted up as well. Look at the loops. Oh, wow. Thought we've got to have a front row ride. Woo! Oh! Oh, it's so good. Amazing, really good. And for a front row ride as well, it is better on the back, but I thought for the POV, we'll have a front row. Woo! Wait. Woo! Oh! Woo! It is so smooth, this thing. It's crazy, huh? it's one of the smoothest coasts in the country. Here we go, you know what's coming up? It's a bit of Helix, 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 Helix! Woo! Oh, amazing! Woo! And down into the brakes. Look at all the trains stacked up, ready to go. Only running one train at the moment. It's only just gone 3.30, so yeah, it's not too busy yet. Later on, I imagine it'll be running at least three. We have all the trains parked up. You should see how quick they get the trains on as well when there's a queue. Literally no messing about, straight on. It's a beautiful ride, this. The one negative about it is the restraint design. They do come down quite Look tight. Honest, this is nowhere near as bad as it has been before. I'm all right, nice and comfort. Yeah, sometimes they come down yeah, quite a bit. Like this. And you've also got the lap bar just down there as well. But that was amazing. I'll always come on this ride. As long as it keeps coming, I'll keep riding. Brilliant. 
Oh, there she goes. An awesome front row ride on Olympia looping. What have you got here then, Charlotte? We've got a nice Project D donut. Four pounds fifty for a Project D. I love these donuts so much. Yeah, these are actually based up in the Midlands yeah, near us. Right. They've like expanded out so much. There you go. Well, Charlotte's going to tuck into that, and I'm going to give Airborne a go. You don't fancy it, do you? Maybe on another trip. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's one of them things. It's a big, huge ride. How intense is it going to be? That's what I want to know. Let's go and have a close look at Airborne. New for 2021 here at Winter Wonderland. Gosh, she's going for it. Look at that, viewers. Oh, my God. Merry Christmas. Well, here we go. It stands at 65 metres tall above London. It's first time here in the United Kingdom. KMG speed. It's Airborne. I cannot wait to get on this. The views are going to be awesome. And let's see how intense it rides. It's time for Airborne. Wow, what a lighting package. I'm absolutely loving the takeoff audio. It's all beautifully themed. Really builds up the atmosphere. Down goes the floor. And it's time to fly with Airborne. Here we go. Eight pounds to ride. I'm so excited for this. Here we go. Get ready for some awesome views as we fly high in the sky over London. Wow. Oh, look at Hangover just there. Oh, it's weird looking across at Hangover. Oh, just dropping as well. London Eye over there to the left. This thing is massive, 65 meters. Woo! Wild Mouse XXL over there. Wow, this is huge. Woo! Here we go. Whoa! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Wow! I tell you what, this always to be jet lag. I landed from Orlando about four hours ago. <laughs> and straight onto this flying of a different kind. Woo! If you haven't already though, check out the blocks from my trip to Orlando and there's still a few more to come. We love you! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> the speed of this and the views! Oh, it's so windy! Woo! Airborne! Woo! Probably can't hear me much because of how windy it is, but only you can appreciate the view. shortly oh, the unload oh, oh amazing here we go have a nice hold at the top now get to appreciate the view all the way across winter wonderland after two years it's amazing to have this event back it really is and the good thing is you get a completely different view on the other side as well so yeah i'll have to ride it over there on another day another trip to winter wonderland you've got to think this is just half of the event just here you really get to see how everything's beautifully laid out there's lots of different entrances into the event as well and yeah you got the ice skating ring down that way high park corner tube station you got a few different entrances and tube stations around for uh, getting here to winter wonderland but blimey that was a great new addition one of my favorite additions to winter wonderland in a good few years that is well, I've got to say, that is one of my favourite additions to Winter Wonderland for many years. I'd probably say my favourite addition since Media Lupin. That was brilliant. It right? look good. Oh, I think you'd have been okay on there, Charlotte. I've got it one day. It wasn't too intense. However, it's absolutely huge. Them views above London. That's what Winter Wonderland is all about. We're here in central London, Hyde Park, seeing all them iconic buildings up there, looking across the Shard, uh, the London Eye, the Battersea Power Station. That's what makes that. But I think you'd be fine on it. Yeah, I think I would be. 
Yeah, you look at it and think, oh, it's going to be really intense. Actually, uh, things like Hangover and XXL are much more intense. But yeah, that's a really good addition. That's actually in place of air this year. They normally have a zero star shape. That's having a big refurbishment at the moment. So we've got Airborne instead. And to be honest, I think it's a nice change. It freshens up the event, doesn't it's it? It's so big. I can't believe how tall it is. We're going to see a familiar ride just down here now. Because as we all know, Alton Towers brought in some funfair rides this year. Uh, well, one of them is now here at Winter Wonderland. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. Well, a bit of a different view to X Sector at Alton Towers, isn't it? Here we go. <laughs> Mixtape, one of the retro squad, or as it's officially known here on the traveling circuit, Jumper Jumper is here at Winter Wonderland now. And yeah, this is the actual ride that was running at Alton Towers. Of course, it did look pretty different there. They didn't have all the lights around the side. Of course, all the branding has changed as well. But yeah, Alton Towers stuck all stickers onto here. And actually, yeah, you can still like stick your hand to it where all the uh, mixtape branding was. I love this ride. Five pounds a ride here. It's been free all season. Oh yeah, it's been free all season. <laughs> Five pounds. Yeah, a cycle over here. There you go. How many arms? we got working is everything on i think so yeah i think all arms are working there was three off alton towers at the end or was it four i think it might have been four oh, nice to see with the strobes that wouldn't look good in x sector there you go five pounds to ride a jumper jumper i nearly said mixtape you got thor's bar just over there huge part of this event is about the food as well big new christmas tree and yeah six pounds to ride but an absolute classic the Haunted Mansion just over here. It's a suspended dark ride. Yeah, always gets a queue. There's people absolutely love it. It's the lighting package, the overall look of it that's brilliant. Charlotte dancing out the front. Not guaranteed if you're coming here to Winter Wonderland, unfortunately. Special appearance. Yeah. Well, yeah, what I really like about this is the lighting, all the screens on there. Recognize the portrait from just up there. There you go, from Jules Q line. Alton Towers, there's a stock portrait that you can buy online. <laughs> Why are you doing do the thriller dance, are you? Oh, there you go. But yeah, we're going to have a little walk around and see some more of the event. But yeah, it's the Haunted Mansion back for 2021. I love seeing this event back. It's such a huge scale. Coming back from Florida to this. Well, what a welcome back to the UK. Like, amazing. The scale of this event, all these traveling rides. Gladiator, back this year, nine pounds to ride. It's one of them that looks really good. I don't think it rides amazing this. However, if you are doing some of these bigger rides, you are better doing them when they're not too busy. Um, getting to the event a little bit earlier, because when it does get busier later on, some of the cycles do get much shorter. Well, I'll tell you what, it's great to see some really tall rides here this year. It really is. I mean, Airborne over there. Gladiator just here, Munich Lupin, of course the City Star Wheel and Hang Over the Tower. We've got some really tall rides here this year and Airborne fits in perfectly to the lineup. Another ride that's back, Wild Mouse XXL. I reckon we'll have a ride on there tonight. What do you think, Wild Mouse? Yeah, we're probably gonna have a walk around and look at the ice ring and uh, come back up and have a ride. It is good old Mac Wild Mouse. Always looks the part with the lighting as well. So back for this year is the wonderful ice skating rink. Sponsored by Lidl this year. Sounds like a show this does, doesn't it? There we go. Lidl on ice. <laughs> yeah, this is really nice around here. Got the live music. The band's down there in the middle. All the lights. Wonderful festive atmosphere. I'm no good at ice skating. Charlotte's a pro skater though, aren't you? I used to be really good at skating and I used to go quite often and then I stopped going and I completely just lost out to do it. Charlotte really bigged herself up once and I took her to the ice skating rink and, and then she just fell over. over. <laughs> oh, I'd so love funny. to get back into it because I've got quite a big passion for skating. I do really like it. Yeah, I love watching people. I really do. But it's great because the session's just started. Everyone's come on, everyone's a bit nervous. But then give it another 20 minutes, everybody will be flying around on here. But yeah, it's really nice and it's great location as well and love how they got the Christmas tree and the live music in the middle. Little on ice.
lovely atmosphere here tonight and there's a look at one of the entrances i was really impressed with the entrance procedure yeah, though it was really good wasn't it yeah bag check and also scanning your ticket to come in yeah, it was really effective so one thing that we forgot to mention so when you go on the high park winter wonderland website if you spend 20 pounds on anything here you do actually get your admission for free so if you spend like 20 quid on rides online you get your entry admission for free yeah which is good yeah it is so good, it, it yeah. means it's not really any different if you're doing so that on food and drink it can be like on ice skating or anything like that as long as it's over 20 pounds you get one free admission there you go so here's a look at some of the stalls of course you got all of the uh, christmas market that's spread throughout of the event but yeah it's really nice down yeah, here oh chocolate fountain so much food and drink available here lots of different bars including one of my favorites it's the fire pit and that's just down here on the right so yeah i'll show you that one these vibes are just real down here i love it yeah loads of new lighting down here at the fire pit for this year that looks really nice in the trees and all on the roof just there some live entertainment so many stalls all around this section here as you can see and great views looking at the awesome skyline here in Hyde Park Euro coaster back again for this year down there at the bottom so much available in terms of food and drink though and yeah there's so much free entertainment to enjoy here which is great get a crispy duck wrap just over there fancy a crispy duck wrap at any point no I don't. no not for you there <laughs> we go mac daddy mac and cheese just over there there you go <laughs> oh yeah got all sorts some of these hot dogs over here look amazing look at the size of it on the top just there the triple hot dog 11 pound from just over here look at the size of that absolutely massive it really does love the part Euro coaster, doesn't it? It doesn't ride amazing, however, it's a real eye catcher. People love this family coaster. It's a ravishing suspended coaster. Six pounds to ride here at this year's event. So far, prices seem to be the same as that they have been over the past few years for this event. It's, yeah, it's really good to see. No increases. I was positive we might have seen some increases this year. Well, no, it seems like everything is the same price, really, as it was before. Time for another ride then shortly. Hang over the tower, look at that, wow. Look at this ride. It's such a show, isn't it? Hang over the tower. So first you go up to 40 meters, then all the way up to 85 meters over London. And the operator on here is an absolute legend. Johnny, his name is, I believe. <laughs> oh, brilliant. So it's eight pounds to ride. Six pounds for a child, and I'm going on. Is Charlotte going to come on this year? No! <laughs> the furthest you're getting is the test seat, I think. It looks horrible. Oh, you get two drops as well. No! <laughs> Here we go, let's go right. Let's go and see Johnny. Here we go right now, let's do it. Here we go! Let's get ready to rumble here in London. Here we go right now guys, welcome on board. <laughs> You've already made up up to three meters. Here we go guys. So it looks like we're only gonna be getting the one drop now. Instead of dropping from 40, we tend to hold you there now and you get the view. Hey Charlotte! You don't need to hold the safety bars. The safety bars hold you, not the other way. <laughs> I mean you can, but not yours. Okay guys. Now we go all the way up, all the way up to 40 meters first. Here we go right now, let's go! Woo! Wow! Even from this point, the views are amazing. The Bavarian village over there, we'll be checking that out. Climbing on up, spinning round. All the smoke, what a show. Wow! You come on this, you realise just how much construction is taking place throughout London. Look at all the cranes. And a great view that way over the whole event. <laughs> Worth the £8 just for the view. Airborne. 
The new spinning coaster down there, we'll be checking that out shortly. Heidi the coaster. Wow. <laughs> you think this is only halfway and the view is already incredible. If you scared of highs, this one is not for you. Wow. Wild Mouse XXL. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? All the way up. Let's go. Incredible. Just to have this event back again after two years. Amazing. Nothing quite like Winter Wonderland. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> you know you're high up here when you look across at the Ferris wheel, which is huge. I think we're about the same height as that, like crazy. Amazing. Wow. Normally when you're up here, we've got a speaker at the top and you can hear what's being said, but yeah, it might not be working at the moment, but we can't hear anything. So yeah, I don't have a clue when we're gonna go. We could just drop, oh, what a place to stop. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> the Bavarian village was massive this year. <laughs> Olympia Lupin. I tell you what, it's weird being on this and not hearing any audio. Normally we get a good idea when we're gonna go. And just about hear an echo from the bottom. <laughs> well, we've been sat up here quite a while now. Surely we're going to be dropping shortly. It's crazy. I can hear some audio at the bottom. Oh, here we go. Woo! Oh, hang over the tower. Whoa. Brilliant. The hangover. Whoa. Oh, I'll tell you what, I've got a hangover after that. Absolutely brilliant. I'd love to see Charlotte on there. I wouldn't go on that. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's huge, isn't it? Great ride, though. The fact that it gets brought over to the UK for this event, it's, it's stunning. Amazing, yeah. It really is. Amazing. She doesn't even go on it. Like, yeah, it's amazing to look at. I don't need to go on it. Uh, to be fair, it is a show ride. It's one of them you can look at and still get as much enjoyment. I think we went on I enjoy walking around. I don't go on loads of rides, but I just love seeing stuff. Soaking up the atmosphere. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to a fun house now, aren't we, down here? Yeah. It's the fire department fun house. It's even got a drop tower built into it. Let's go. Some more market stalls to see around here. Love a good German sausage. That's a big part of Christmas. Nom, nom, nom. Loads of German sausage that you can get down here at Winter Wonderland. Lots of games as well. Ring the bell, win 20 pounds over there. I'm not a big fan of the games myself. It's not something that I play, but a lot of people do like them. Love a good uh, game when you're walking around all of the parks and fun fairs. And with fun fairs, they really add to it, don't they? Having all the game, prize every time and all that kind of stuff. Music's pumping out. We've got another lovely Christmas tree down here. Spring rolls! Spring rolls! <laughs> there you go, spring rolls. Six pounds for your spring rolls. So many different stalls though. What really makes it for me are all the garlands, all the real trees, the angels on the top. It's just so nice to have this big scale event back again. It really is. And it's not too busy walking around. It's got a great atmosphere, but the crowd levels aren't too much either. Sometimes we've been at this event and we've been literally shoulder to shoulder. Uh, whereas now there's room for Charlotte to have a little dance just like that. <laughs> but yeah, just wanted to also point out, you don't need to wear wellies or boots or anything. Everything is all uh, blocked off like this. Yeah, plenty of free toilets, that sort of thing. And this year to help improve phone signal. Woo! You're right, mate, theme park worldwide on YouTube. What was that? Oh. <laughs> um, to improve phone signal, they've actually put masts around. Still having a few signal issues tonight, but it does seem to be better than previously, where um, a lot of the time, yeah, you run out of signal. Well, there you go, there's one of the masts over there. Quite a few different masts all the way around the event. Nice classic carousel just there, way swinger as well, hangover in the background. And it wouldn't be a trip to Winter Wonderland without a fun house. We always used to love Alpen Hotel, didn't we? Oh, it was great. It wasn't here last time, and yeah, it's not back again this year, unfortunately. So yeah, we like to do at least one fun house. So we're gonna go in this one, the fire department, because yeah, as you can see, it's got a drop tower at the end. So it's five pounds, you get all the fun house and the drop tower. So yeah, should we go in? Yeah. Let's go for it. it looks great with the lighting as well. 
Here we go, Charlotte, take your seat. This is how you're experienced on. This is my hangover. <laughs> Here we go, she's got a hangover, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Five pounds, let's go. Here we go, he looks way too happy considering it's on fire. Let's go, behind the scenes there. A nice view. Hey, oh. Woo! Hey. <laughs> is it all right for you, Charlotte? It's lovely. I don't think five pounds too bad, including the drop tower and the fun house. What a great view. <laughs> the restraints on this are really wide as well. Oh, going the other way now. Charlotte's loving this way too much. <laughs> oh, is it so good to have this event back again here in London? Woo! Yeah, coming back from Florida to this, like, you know, it's not a downgrade because this event is certainly one of the best in the world, in my opinion. There's no Christmas event quite like Winter Wonderland. Oh, here we go. Oh, what's that? We got a fire. Oh no, he's confused. What does he do? We got a fire. Woo! I'll roll along. Into the vortex we go. Nice, fast moving vortex. Woo! Oh no, it's not the stairs. It's what? I can't ever do this. Oh, you love these, don't you? Oh, you're not going on the boring way. Oh, come on, give it a go. The viewers want to see you attempt it. Here we go. There's nobody behind us, so we're all right. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is the fun of the fun house. Up she goes. The question is, do I attempt it with a camera or not? Like, I don't know. Is that a good idea, this? I'm really not sure. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was not a good idea. Oh, oh, hey. <laughs> Oh, we got a crazy frog, what a tune. Da, 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 da. Ring, ring. It wouldn't be a trick to this event though without coming and doing a fun house. Here he is, the fireman. Where's his hose pipe? Has he got it out? I don't know, can't see it. I'll tell you what, it looks like we're in for a treat with the view. Up on this one, the what? What do you mean, it's horrible, whoa! Oh, oh my God, that bike breaks loads. Let's go see the awesome view up here. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Amazing views. Beautiful, isn't it? Hang over at the top just there. You realize just how tall it is when you look at it from further back here. And yeah, one of the best views in the event because if we zoom in just here, you got XXL, you got the pirate ship, Munich looping, and also the big wheel in the background. Incredible. You bit stuck there, Charlotte. <laughs> So good. Where's the fire though? I want to know. I can't hear many sirens going off. The there we go. So you got some steps to stay. Or you can go down the slide. Are you doing the slide? I'm not too sure. I'll, I'll test it out for you. Hey, here she is, putting the fire out. You came down quicker than me. Such a long fun out. You should really get your money's worth with this. A bit of the Muppets playing. Got some wonky steps just here to go up. Here's the fire truck. Ring that bell. You've even got a fireman's pole just there. These are really trippy, aren't they? <laughs> oh my god! Whee! So I decided not to go down the pole. Let's go and see Sean. There he is. Go. Fireman Sean's rescue. <laughs> Here we go, time to put out that fire with my hose pipe. <laughs> Dance Say, monkey going on. Dance Tommy, dance Tommy. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I enjoy my little trip down the fireman's pole there. Uh, oh, oh. I reckon, oh, she's, oh, she's gone. We've lost her. What about the fire? How are you going to put it out? There we go. Fire department fun out. Really good five quid spend that is. Fantastic. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> Here we go, all the way over now. Charlotte's going to do it for us. Is she going for it? <laughs> oh, oh, she was giving it a go there. It's a fast mover there, isn't it? That's it. You got to walk the walk. <laughs> Brilliant, here we go. Can, can you do it? Oh, he's helping him out. I wanted to see him do it. I wanted to see him go over. Brilliant, really enjoyed that. It's a great fun house. Another awesome 
Darren Barr is back this year at Winter Wonderland. And it's the carousel bar just here with some more awesome live entertainment. She's just walking around on the carousel. Love that. Yeah, as the night goes on, some of these turn into a ride party atmosphere. Here she is. It's <laughs> all about the base. Brilliant. <laughs> What an atmosphere. Up yeah. well, next then, it's time to try one of the new additions here to Winter Wonderland for this year. It's the Heidi Coaster. Now at first glance, you might think, hang on a minute, it's just another normal Ravishan spinning coaster. Well, this certainly isn't normal because it's pretty different. It's got onboard audio and also it's got a different track element. It's got an overbank around the corner, as you'll see in just a moment. Look at this nice goat! Oh, here we go, goat on the ride. He's nice, isn't he up there? Goat on the logo as well. There is, I've got a bit of an issue with the logo though. What's going on with that track in the background? Yeah, That's definitely that. a Vacoma boomerang possibly there or Vacoma sit down coaster. I don't know, but yeah, gonna go and give this a ride. It's seven pounds, it's pretty expensive. Uh, but I know that this was at Oktoberfest back in 2019 in Munich, and it was seven euros to ride there. But yeah, it's a unique ride and it's a credit, so I need to get it. Let's go. Look at Airborne go over there. It's an incredible addition to Winter Wonderland for this year. Here we are on them seated on Heidi the Coaster. Look at this, yeah, firstly, got completely different restraints to previous Revision spinners. Look at the seats as well. Yeah, look at the flooring. You got fake grass down there. Hello, and and onboard audio. To the Heidi Coaster, you crazy guys. Let's rock and roll. Woo, let's rock and roll. Nice lighting. Wow, it's fast. Oh my God, that was crazy. Really fast up the lift. And here we go. Great view from on here, nice location. We got any more onboard audio or did you just stop there? Just on the lift. <laughs> Hopefully we get some more. As it seems like a bit of a waste of a speaker system. So here we go, get ready for the unique element now. Normally drops and takes you back up. And you get some light trolls, whereas we've got an overbank. Here we go. A little bit more audio. I feel like it would have been better instead of just being voiceover, like a full on like dance soundtrack. Woo! The good spinner though. Yeah, like a Bavarian dance mix would have been quite nice. Woo! <laughs> Wee! Go on, you get a good spin on these. I still feel like seven pounds is a bit too expensive. Like if it was five quid, you know, it would have been like, you've got to think of two of you coming on. 14 pounds for a ravishing wild mouse. Like, it's crazy. Audio. Thank you for trying to ride you. Woo! Air time. <laughs> Still rides like a normal ravishing though, doesn't it? A bit jolty here and there. Yeah, it's a nice addition to the events. I like all the theme in the goats quite nice. And all the seats and everything, but yeah, it's just a bit too expensive for me that. Seven pounds is a lot of money, especially when you've got quite a few of these spinning wild mouse coasters at the event this year. Chestnuts roasted on an open fire. Here we go, get ready for it. It's like the lightning rod of Winter Wonderland. Quote from Charlotte there. <laughs> Love it, get ready for it, it's coming. Oh! <laughs> Look at that, Heidi the coaster and the overbank just there as well. Nice addition to the event, bit too expensive in my opinion. A couple of pounds cheaper, I think it would have a big queue. But yeah, I enjoyed getting on there. And the overbank was good fun, and the onboard audio was nice. Got the North Star bar just down here. So many different bars, but yeah, this is really nice. All the little covered over areas, the TP down there at the end as well. There's been so many improvements to the infrastructure at this event over the years. You got the ski party just over there. That's actually a new fun house over this year as well. Might try that out at some point, not tonight, but um, yeah, maybe another night, come and try that out down here at Winter Wonderland. Just so nice to see them still bringing in new rides, you know, which is good to see, isn't it? New additions. Nice event. Should we go and have a look around the Bavarian village? Yeah, yeah. That's just off here to the left hand side. So, yeah, we'll go and have a little look through there now. Oh, no, more donuts. Keep Charlotte away from there. No more donuts. You've had Project D, you're not having any more. <laughs> so yeah, the Bavarian village is absolutely huge. It tends to get bigger every year, to be honest. Here's the entrance. So, there's a little look at what you can get from in here. 
all sorts, including Mr. Bratwurst. I think I'm Mr. Bratwurst, to be honest, but here we go. Let's have a walk around here. So yeah, you've got the big outdoor area, and then also an indoor section as well. Yeah, you can get all sorts in here. Of course, all your German beers, churros, bratwurst, and so much more. What I really like about the Bavarian village is that they tend to change it up every year as well, so you've got lots of different areas. It's huge. I mean, there's probably 30 to 50 stalls just in this area. Amazing, it really is. Lots of entertainment going on as well. You've got the main Bavarian hall that we'll head into shortly. Yeah, got a bit of live music just up here as well. Really nice. to Hyde Park. We oh, love the atmosphere. So much singing and dancing from Charlotte. I miss that in America. <laughs> Radiant Sea. Love all the classics. I tell you what, this view is spectacular. Probably my favorite in the event so far. Looking around, all the lights, all the food, the smells, the sights, everything comes together. Really makes this a way of so many different rooms and oh, it's incredible. of the Bavarian village and one of my favorite parts of Winter Wonderland is the huge Bavarian hall just here. It's massive, let's go in. After everything that we've been through over the past two years, just to see the Bavarian hall like this, packed with probably a couple of thousand people, everybody enjoying the live entertainment, is amazing. Don't you agree, Charlotte, just seeing this? I was worried that the event might not have that feel. It really does. Winter Wonderland is back and it's bigger and stronger than ever. Look at this, you got live bands, live music, so much going on, loads of food in here as well. And look at the lighting package. It's crazy, I mean, Charlotte, this is just all green space throughout the rest of the year. It's a park, like, this is high Park, and look at what they do for Christmas. Wow, London comes alive with one of the best events anywhere in the world. I don't think there's anywhere else in the world that offers something like this for Christmas. Amazing. More dancing from Charlotte, looking for some hard stuff, baby, tonight. Charlotte I want some hard stuff, baby, this evening. I'll give you hard stuff. <laughs> right, I'm having a sausage, let's go. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
nothing quite like the atmosphere of the Bavarian village here at Winter Wonderland. Nowhere else in the world where I've seen an atmosphere quite like that. It's so unique, isn't it? Was it was amazing there. Everyone was singing and dancing. It was lovely. Oh, such a good atmosphere. And the Bratwurst, 10 out of 10. Quality cuisine. Oh, I really enjoyed it. It was so nice. I don't know why it was a pound less when you charged me. I don't me. know. Well, there you go. Uh, but anyway, we're going to carry on now, having a walk around, capturing the atmosphere, and looking at some more of the rides. And of course, going on a few more rides as well. Here on the opening night of Winter Wonderland, back strong this year with a really solid event. This fun house has been coming for many years. It's another good one. I do miss the Alpina Hotel. Yeah, this is like its equivalent, really, with all the Bavarian theming. You've also got an awesome animatronic down the front here by the mirror maze. Have a closer look. Here he is. You're right over there, mate. <laughs> oh, God. It's so good. It reminds me so much of the Laughing Man at Blackpool Pleasure Beach by Revolution. But look at him go. Look at his head. I tell you what, he's going to need some surgery. He's going to have major neck. <laughs> he's going to have major neck issues one day. He is. Ah. How does he keep going? Oh, I don't know. Crazy. It's sweet. Hey. It's sweet. <laughs> well, yeah, it's five pounds for this for now. It's five quid. <laughs> da, 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 da. What an atmosphere. <laughs> Still going. <laughs> I say, keep going. Hey! Hey! <laughs> oh, amazing! Oh, you've been cut off. Better yodeling now instead. Oh, this Slingshot's a popular one because it's only nine pounds per rider. And to be honest, for a slingshot, that isn't bad at all. So let's show you some more of the food options down here as well. As you can see, you got all this big street food section, really popular, all sorts down here. Pizza, uh, fried chicken, and so much more. Well, the City Star Ferris wheel always looks magnificent here in Hyde Park. It's 11 pounds for an adult and eight pounds for a child to ride. But it's definitely worth it, especially if you don't like going on the other tall rides here, the big thrill rides. This is a nice way of seeing all the way across this amazing event without being scared and having all the thrills. Unless you're scared of heights, of course. But yeah, because I've done the other taller rides, not going to be going on City Stars tonight. Probably will give it a go at some point during the event. Um, but yeah, it really is fantastic up there. I just prefer getting my views with a bit of a thrill. <laughs> Around here at the Arctic Lodge then now. They kind of theme all the different areas up, which is great. They've all got different vibes about them. Yeah, this is very frosty, very cool around here with all the snow around. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah, this has got a DJ just around here. Off to the right, as you can see. Nice Christmas tree, loads more food. And the Arctic Lodge bar, you get some good views up there on the balcony. just over here to make our way down into Santa Land. They like the big flowers just over there, they're quite cool. Got a bit of entertainment down here, some street theatre. Loads of entertainment going on, which is really good to see. They look really cool with the lights. Oh, well the queue might be closed over there to meet Santa. But don't worry, here he is doing some meet and greets with all the street entertainment. Brilliant. I'm liking his grotto just over here though. I know it's early one when we walk past. I don't know if he's doing it now or not. There was a train coming around the top there, then they might have turned it off. Well yeah, this looks nice down here. I still wish they'd do a bigger Santa's grotto though. I feel like he's got more potential. But yeah, you can come down here and meet him. Always around uh, when he's not busy, of course, preparing for a good big day. Walking around doing a nice little meet and greet as well. 
Got some bumper cars just over there. Quite a few sets of Dodgems here, actually. And It's a Small World Adventure has returned. Five pounds for adults, four pounds for children. And yeah, it looks really nice, this, but we did it a few years ago, and it was very short and quite expensive for what it was, wasn't it, Charlotte? It's so expensive for what it is. It's, it's a nice plane yeah, ride. Nice. It's, just it's just pretty pricey. But yeah, I guess they've got to make the money back as well, especially after being closed for the best part of two years. So you've got the Eiffel Tower just up there. Really nice facade. It's a small world after all. If you haven't already, check out my vlogs from Walt Disney World in Florida, where I've just been, and you can see It's a Small World there. However, this is It's a Small World Adventure, as you can see from the sign. And yeah, you go around in like a spinning cup. It's basically like a Ferris wheel that goes round a dark ride. Yeah, quite an interesting ride system. Have you ever wanted to ride in a bauble on a Christmas tree? Well, there you go. Get your head to Winter Wonderland and you can do four pounds for an adult, three pounds for a child for the Christmas tree ride just here. Oh, that you. Really good ride system, isn't it? Love it. <laughs> Gotta say, they've made some really good improvements to the event for this year. Some nice new bits of theming around, which is good. And yeah, as we can see just over there, the entrances and exits are so much better and clearer than they used to be, which is really nice to see. It's all about the big coasters and attractions here at Winter Wonderland. There's a lot here for the little ones as well, including this junior coaster, the racing coaster here in Santa Land. So yeah, talking to Santa, here he is. another spinning coaster so yeah there's one down at this end of the event however with this one it's the standard layout however this is only five pounds to ride from a general public point of view i can see this one going down better to be honest or ice mountain but yeah like with the heidi coaster seven pounds which is a bit too expensive but yeah this is the standard layout so obviously the heidi coaster came up here and does an overbank and yeah obviously this doesn't have the onboard audio but yeah from a gp point of view definitely going to prefer that one charlotte's gone for a nice burger and chips burger and chips 11 pounds burger and chips it's oh okay, it's quite tasty quite a nice thick beef patty there for there, you there we go lovely well we're going to carry on having a walk down this way and seeing more of this year's events wow the classic light arches are back here in high park and they look absolutely amazing down the bottom as well you've also got another carousel bar Another fun house, so many rides here at this event. I just said to Charlotte, I wonder how much you'd spend if you did every single ride here at this event this year. You'd be looking at a few hundred pounds, I think. <laughs> really nice though, they've got lots more Christmas music playing. You might think, hang on a minute, it's Winter Wonderland, it is a Christmas event. Go back a couple of years ago, there was a lot of like normal pop music playing around. So it's nice how they've got a lot of Christmas music back again, which is good. You got another little star flyer just over here as well, a sky swing, loads more stalls down this end as well. We're closer over towards Marble Arch over this end. And off to the right, the Megadome is back. Zippo Circus always do an amazing job. And Cirque Berserk is a personal favourite of ours um, that they do there. So yeah, definitely recommend that. Uh, you are allowed to film it as well, so we'll probably do it at some point, I'm thinking. Yeah, such a good show. Something that's not bad this year is the ice show. So that's normally off to the side just there. Uh, they ran a few different ice shows, but they're not bad this year. Um, but you know, I only went to see it once. I prefer the circus. And of course, we've still got the ice rink that you can skate on. Another wave swinger down here. And yeah, another new ride for us to experience just down here. Alibaba. So yeah, looking forward to giving this a go. Can't see a price advertised, so we'll head over and find out. I'll take you on with the GoPro. Here we go then. So it's four pounds to ride Alibaba. There's Charlotte down there. Not very busy in this part of the park. This is where you normally have the Mondale Top Scan. This is kind of its replacement for this year. Alibaba, nice view of the circus there. Yeah, it's really like quiet in this corner. They used to have an entrance actually over here, but they've not this year, I've noticed. Here yeah, you got flying jumbos down there. Whee, another coaster, Dodgems so much here at this event this year 
I'm really enjoying it. I think it's one of the better years. I mean, it's always fantastic, but this year, what we're seeing at this event is brilliant. I'm loving the aerial view from here as well. A bit of a different angle. Ice mountain just over there. Oh, brilliant. Got the KMG down there as well. I'd rather ride the bigger KMG over there though. <laughs> Love how they're giving us a hold at the top. So appreciate the views. Woo! Oh, Alibaba! <laughs> Prince Ali, Ali, yes, and a Baba. <laughs> Whoop! There we go. Woo! Oh, quite good. Only the two of us on it quite sad, really. With it being a new ride, it's nice when they're full of people, but yeah, the views are pretty awesome from up here. Yeah, four pounds of ride. Woo! Very smooth. The entire has been looked after this one. What a view. Really makes it, doesn't it? Fantastic. We're getting a long cycle on here. Really getting money's worth. We've been going for about three and a half minutes. Really get to take in all the lovely views and scenery back here in London. Really enjoyed that. I feel like it's in the wrong place though, to be honest. I wasn't really getting the crowds. I'll tell you what is getting the crowds though, and it has done for many years here at this event. Ice Mountain, it's another spinning coaster. Well, of course, this one has got the large show building around it. It looks the part this does, everybody loves it. Seven pounds a ride. Of course, this is owned by Mellors. It appeared at their park, Fantasy Island. It wasn't actually um, there this year because they put Spinning Racer in. However, they took that out and I believe that's gonna broad now. So maybe we'll see Ice Mountain back again at Fantasy Island at Ingomel Skegness for next year. Uh, back in a permanent location for the season. Um, yeah, Keith's coming back to Winter Wonderland. This is why. Like, look at it. It's probably got about a 20, 25 minute queue, I'd say. People absolutely love a bit of Ice Mountain. It's the full package though, isn't it? It's a themed experience. And inside you got all the lights and lasers and audio that really makes it. We've got a dispatch over here on the ice slide. It's real ice that you come down on. There you go, that's why you need to wear a helmet. Oh, you come down with some speed. There you go, it's five pounds and you get two slides down. I bet it's quite fun, but there we go, she was loving it. <laughs> quite expensive, but it looks fun. It's really popular. Yeah, it is. it's got a massive line around there. Line, look at me, I'm turning American. It's I said me. line, I know, I can't believe it. That's what happens when you just on a trip to the States. Well, yeah, I just also thought I'd show you the magical Ice Kingdom. It's that spectacular. We're not going to cover it in this vlog. It's going to be coming up in its own video. So stay tuned for that coming soon here on Theme Park Worldwide. So you got the Explorer's Rest Alpine Bar just over there. That's pretty nice. So many different bars and eateries at the event. Another big staple attraction is the Star Flyer. I remember when this used to be like the tallest and most impressive ride here. Everybody loved it, and people still do to be honest, but you gotta think there's much bigger rides than this now. In a way it looks small compared to some of the newer stuff. Seven pounds a ride. Normally the cycle is pretty short on here. However, I mean, it doesn't look like it's too bad today. It's been up there for a good minute or so. Yeah, sometimes, I remember a few years ago, literally they're doing a few spins and that was it, and it was straight down. Here we go then, XXL. Eight pounds to ride. Cycle, I don't know how it's gonna be from watching it. Get about four big swings. But yeah, it is a lot busier now, so you do expect the cycles to be shorter. Let's see what I get, here we go. Woo! Love XXL, the crowd are loving it. Opening night, 2021. It's a while to get going, but when it does, oh boy, you're in for a treat. Here we go. Woo! Oh. Woo! XXL. Oh, 
motorcycle. Oh, I'm sure I'll have another go on a quieter day. XXL. but it was great to get back on there fantastic ride it is huge it really is you don't fancy it no i've done it before though yeah you have done it in the past fair yeah, play yeah. Like, not a big flat ride fan are you sure no, i just like looking around enjoying the atmosphere oh what an atmosphere it's been we're coming towards the end of the night yeah. opening night here at winter wonderland this year incredible we've got one more ride left to do Worldwide on YouTube, check it out. Uh, here we go. I think this lady family friendly there. I think we're all right. We're off on the Wild Mouse XXL now. Brilliant Mac ride to end the night. I tell you what, it's a monster, this isn't it? Look at all the supports and track on here. An amazing machine. Mac rides. Wow, here we go. Eight pounder ride. Then we've got the fountains on tonight down here, sadly. What a night it's been there. You've also got the pirate ship just over there as well. I went on that the other week at the Trafford Centre. You're looking forward to your ride, Charlotte? I love this. It's a great ride. There's really intense. There's hardly any braking at all on this. Doesn't really trim it. Really intense around the corners. Let's go. Wild Mouse XXXXXXL. Woo! For the house in the queue line. That's the thing, what you're getting with this. Not just a coaster, but a full package. Yeah, we're missing all the water down here. There we go. Some of these wobble, you got to watch out for them. Watch out for the wobbly ones. I think this is one. Oh, wobbly logs. Here we go, Charlotte's going to get our eight pounds worth now. Oh, oh you only got five pounds worth there. Oh, here we go, spinning round. Six pounds. <laughs> Six pounds, there we go. Right, let's go and ride. Fantastic operations on here. Getting the train sent out. Here we go, last ride of the night. Good one to end on this on the front row as well. Charlotte loves this, don't you? Woo -hoo -hoo. All the lighting package. Oh, that's a close one. What a fantastic night. And we're going to get an aerial view of the event. Look at this. Welcome to London. Winter Wonderland is back. So it feels like it's gonna fly off. <laughs> oh my god, listen to these screams! Woo! We got some rice screams behind, listen to them! Oh god. Woo! Oh, here we go! Oh wow! Woo! Oh look at this, into the corner! Here we go! Look at the views though! Incredible! It just hardly breaks you at all. Straight into the corners. Woo! <laughs> oh God! Woo! You enjoying it, Charlotte? Woo! Air time. No breaking. Straight into it. Here we go. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. oh God! It just keeps on giving this thing. Woo! I'm out of seat. Literally out of my seat. Oh, wow. What a way to wrap up the night. Wild Mouse XXXXL. Oh, fantastic. God, that was so, so good. You enjoyed that? Oh, wow. <laughs> Mouse XXL is absolutely spectacular. It flies around the corners and honestly, it feels like it's going to come flying off. It's crazy. I love that ride so much. <laughs> of course, all the rides are perfectly safe and tested. Um, but yeah, literally, you're going around on that and it is insane just how There's intense no it is. I love it. Like, it's well worth the eight pounds. I am absolutely loving Winter Wonderland this year. It's brilliant every year, but I love the layout, the ride selection, and it's nice to have some new offerings for this year, in my opinion. Just freshen up the lineup a little bit. Definitely. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, 
yeah, I really liked Airborne. I thought that was a really good addition. Um, not particularly very intense. However, the views from up there, the size of it and the lighting package was brilliant. I might give it a go at some point. Yeah, I'm sure you will do. Like, you know, we've not done everything here tonight. You'd spend a fortune, but we've done some of the new bits and the bits that we really like here the most. Always great to get back on the iconic Olympia looping as well. Um, but yeah, just overall a fantastic night. The Bavarian village was awesome. The atmosphere, the vibes in there uh, after everything over the past two years was brilliant, it was really wasn't it? It was nice to see, actually. It was, and there's so much street theatre and live brilliant. entertainment around, which is good to see. Also, in terms of improvements to the event, it's just nice to see the exits being bigger uh, and crowd levels tonight were pretty moderate, I would say. It didn't feel too busy in there no, at all, in my opinion. Uh, it was just a really nice crowd level and very much enjoyed it. So well done to the team here. Um, fantastic event. Job. Yeah, great to have it back. And uh, you've got to think with everything that's gone on with uh, regards to Brexit, I don't really bring politics in it, but uh, with Brexit and border controls and uh, the it's pandemic. Been a lot to bring yeah, stuff over, like, so it's, been, it's been a big huge thing this well year. Done. So well done. So I have to put it on because this event is back on top level and it's really nice to see. I thought this year I was going in expecting it to be toned down just a little bit because it's of just COVID. Just as good. Just as good, if not better, to be honest. Um, we're going to be filming another vlog inside the Magical Ice Kingdom and capturing a few other bits. So stay tuned for that. It'll be coming here on Theme Park Worldwide. But if you're coming to Winter Wonderland, you'll have an amazing time. Book online for the best deals. And of course, um, yeah, if you're spending £20 on your pre booked tickets, you, get your, um, you get your entry in there too. And it guarantees it then. You've not got the risk of travelling here and getting turned away. Book online, best thing to do, in my opinion. But uh, there we go. Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching Theme Park Worldwide. And that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, get out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you in the next video.